What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, Chu's here today. Jang's Food Workshop on this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as traditional Chinese and Malaysian street food as well. Today mum, what are we doing? Chicken, satay chicken. Satay chicken, but the best version. Yeah. yeah. So the very best way you can do it without making the paste from scratch, if that makes sense. So we're going to be using Jimmy's today. Lots of you already know what Jimmy's is, it's fantastic. If you don't know, I'll show you in a second, but it's brilliant stuff and this is really sort of different from what you'd expect from a normal takeaway if any of them do it anything like this at all you're very lucky and you've got a very good takeaway yeah so here are the ingredients we have two tablespoons of sugar and we're using tablespoon measurements so get yourself a set of these because this is what we go by two tablespoons of vegetable oil a third teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of msg a stalk of lemongrass heat teaspoon of Eastern Star curry powder, two large cloves of garlic or three small medium to small ones, some pineapple in juice, a one whole shallot, the kind that are like bells, long ones, cucumber, red and green peppers. Got three chicken thighs here chopped up and then velveted. Now I put one teaspoon of potato starch into this, a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of MSG, two teaspoons of light soy and a teaspoon of this Chinese rice wine. Xiaoxing, it's the better brand you can get. Got chilies for garnish. You're gonna need about a heat tablespoon of peanut butter, any crunchy peanut butter will do. And you're gonna need about a tablespoon of this Jimmy satay as well. We're gonna use a couple of drops of dark Lee Kum Ki uh, soy sauce because it's better um, for just that coloring if you ask me. The Pearl River can be a bit too strong and then offsets the flavors in this when all you're doing is using it for browning. So there we go and we'll get on with it. And as always, I forgot that you're gonna need about 150 milliliters of water and potato starch slurry separately um, to thicken. So you're gonna put half of your oil into this. Spatula. You're gonna to wanna to get this hot and you're gonna add this to that. The chicken, you fry it off first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seal it. Seal it. Yes. Sear it. Sear it. Sear it. Sear it. Sear Got a separate bowl as well because we're going to cook this off. When it's ready, you're going to take it out and put it into the bowl. And then you're going to do your vegetables after that and then bring it all together. And if you don't know what Jimmy is, it's this stuff here. It's a satay. It's made in Singapore and it's fantastic. Hong Kong. Singapore. It's made in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm letting it sit so it gets a nice caramelization on one side and then we'll turn it over. Remember you can get most of these ingredients, especially the MSG and the specialist sauces like this. The Lee Kum Ki products on our website, sorry, it just took me about a thousand attempts to say that. There's <laughs> Lee Kum Ki, Lee Kum Ki products. products on our site, as well as Amoy. We've got a good selection and we are very reasonably priced. In fact, cheaper than it would be for you to pop down to the shop um, and factor in fuel and stuff like that. Having said that though, by all means support your local businesses, but also make sure you check out our Chinese takeaway cookbook. Loads of recipes in here of your favorite ones at home, aren't they, Mum? Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. Check it out. Check it. Check, 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 check it out. <laughs> I did forget to mention that there's actually a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder in this as well. I'll write the list below and it'll stay there until we have a cookbook with the recipe in. So if you're hearing this and you go to look below and there's no recipe, it means it's featured in the cookbook we have. So the chicken is browning on one side and just turn it over. And brown the other side? Yeah. For the more stewed out there, you'd notice I've got a different spoon. That's because the last one just fell apart. Yeah, it's looking good then. Yeah, very nearly done now. Yeah. So this take about two to three minutes on a really high heat. It's looking perfect. So we're going to cut that out into a bowl. Try and keep some of that lovely flavour in the pan, don't want to drag too much of the oil out and set that to the side. Top up your oil. You can easily do this with half the amount of oil if I'm honest with you, it just doesn't taste as nice. Especially with anything curry, a lot of the, having a lot of oil brings out a lot of the flavours. But I mean, like I said, if you want to make it slightly healthier, use half as much. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was just watching the oil. Okay, so we're going to put the shallots in first. 
and then the pineapples. You want to caramelise these pineapples. So now we're going to put in the peppers. You can put whatever veg in you like really, but I suggest what we're saying for your first go is a good reference point. The pineapple makes this. I know loads of people are funny about it, but every time someone has this and it has the pineapple in it and they don't even like pineapple, they go, yeah, the pineapple makes it. So try it with the pineapple first. So when your peppers are browning off nicely, like you can see here, we're gonna put in garlic. We're using fresh garlic, not the aged puree. The aged puree is a bit too strong and can take away the flavor from the sauce. Your salt, your MSG, a crushed lemongrass like that. And you're not gonna eat that, you're gonna take that out later. It's just for a, a nice sort of hum of lemongrass citrus going through. So when your garlic is browning off, you wanna put your curry powder in. What? Cook for about 20, 20 seconds if that. Yep. You just wanna, yeah, you just wanna take the rawness off that powder. One heat teaspoon of this. It's quite spicy, so if you don't like spicy stuff, I suggest use half as much. So we're gonna turn that out and cook this paste off for about a minute, if that. Don't let that little sucker jump out the pan. Yeah, it's on mine. Yeah, it does, yeah. You can see that paste getting together now. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna put in a tablespoon. Well, that's solid, it bent my thing back. Okay, so a tablespoon of peanut um, peanut paste, or I've got the word peanut butter. You turn down the heat a little bit, you just wanna melt this. You can put coconut milk in this instead of water if you want. I don't tend to like, really like satay, coconut milk in. So now in goes your water. You can actually put um, chopped tomatoes in this as well if you want. Turn that up along with your sugar. I'm gonna add a, a teaspoon of the Chinese rice wine and a dash of the dark soy. soy. Literally just using that for colour. Okay, so you're gonna put your chicken back in. I'm gonna cook this for about two or three minutes. Looks like we're not gonna need the potato starch. You're not always gonna need it, especially when you're making satay. You just have it in case it doesn't thicken up properly. Now in goes your cucumber and we're just warming these through. Honestly, can, cucumber makes such a difference to this. Yeah, yeah. Nice and thick um, now. Yep, brilliant. There we go. I'm going to take that. Uh, I might leave it on top of the garnish for photos. So, we're going to dish this up. And as always, there it is, just so you can see what it should look like. Again, I've just put that in for the Instagram and the thumbnail, but you wouldn't eat that. So here it is. It's so much like deeper flavour than the standard takeaway version. Yeah. Isn't it? It's creamier. Cucumber works so well with it. It's more aromatic, obviously, because you've used um, the lemongrass. Oh, it's boiling hot. Oh, that's it. So that's the best version of satay chicken using the pre-made mixes. In this case, Jimmy's satay. Like I said, this may not be for you. You may want to change things around. That's absolutely fine. Cooking is subjective, and that's what's amazing about cooking. Just because we say this is the best doesn't mean it's true. It's just that this is our preferred way of doing it. Yeah, that's right. Our preferred way. In all honesty, if we had any, maybe I would have thrown in a little bit of blachan, which is a shrimp paste, but then I think that's going away from what a Chinese takeaway is capable of doing if they have the time. I hope you enjoy, I hope you try this out, because it's really good. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Yeah, and don't forget to check out the site for merch as well. Yeah. Help the channel out. Happy cooking, happy eating. Happy cooking, happy eating. Thanks, guys. So no, I also forgot to say, if you don't have the blachan, and you wanted to add this to a fish sauce works. Not as just as well, but it's a good alternative. Yeah, just a splash of it. Yeah. If you want it a bit more... Um, punchy. Punchy, yes, that's right. Yeah? Yeah, try it with prawn. Oh, this works with prawn. And in fact, beef. Beef as well. And, and of course, pork. Do you know what? Everything. Well, like squid is the best one. Oh yeah, squid. So it basically works with everything. Yeah. Um, chocolate. <laughs> don't, don't add chocolate. So thanks for watching guys again. Take care. Happy cooking, happy eating. There we go. We just found some chocolate sauce. Do you want to, are you going to try this? You just had chicken. What are you trying? Some pineapple? Yeah. See, so that's more likely to work then. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I don't want to try. Mm. In fact, it's quite nice with, um, I tried it with Pineapple, it's quite nice. I'll try with a piece of chicken. That was horrific! It tastes like garbage! Oh, not on chicken. <laughs> I think the pineapple <coughs> is better. To prove a point from earlier, yeah. I was right and joking about don't put chocolate into satay, because I know someone's going to go, oh, it works. It doesn't. 
doesn't. 